So explain this. Why will air conditioners be more expensive in 2025? Well, in 2025, there's some new protocols coming. Uh, the, the Montreal Protocol uh, that basically states that, uh, you know, helping global warming, uh, the GWP, the global warming potential, uh, the goal is to, to lower that below 700. It can go 78% below that with the current new refrigerants that are coming out. So two new refrigerants coming out is going to increase the cost. Manufacturers are currently in the process of changing all equipment, which is... Uh, going to increase across uh, across the board so okay so how much do you expect prices to go up by for say a you know a, a one of these small air conditioning units or a whole house unit so it's predicted that prices will go up uh, between 15 and 20 percent next year uh, so a significant amount i mean there's a lot of things that uh, come into play when uh, new products are coming out of course there's new uh, training there's new safety protocols new tools coming out uh, things like that so there's a lot of things that all of us have to do uh, to get uh, get all our technicians on board and, and ready to go for all those new products. Explain these what you're calling these new refrigerants that are used in air conditioners. How how, do, how is that going to lead to lower emissions? So there's two uh, main refrigerants that'll be here in North America: R454B and uh, R32 are the two refrigerants that uh, that we'll see in North America. It'll lower the, the global warming potential by up to uh, 78% and also lower the CO2 emissions by up to 13%. Also, both of those refrigerants have uh, zero ozo- ozone uh, depletion as well. So they're, they're very good for the environment. And it's good to note as well that uh, these refrigerants also have been around uh, for a long time in about 100 countries. So this is just new to North America. Uh, it's been around since about uh, 2012. We're catching up, you might say. So how will these changes impact what you do and your industry? Yeah, so there's there's a lot of good things coming, but there'll be some new safety protocols, like I mentioned earlier, Um, some new training, of course, because every single product that we currently have on our shelves today um, will be going out the door. So uh, we got to get on top of that and and we're working closely with our manufacturers to make sure we're, we're ready to go to help everybody out there. Okay, explain that going out the door part. Does this make anything before 2025 obsolete? Like, will you, you, you won't still be able to sell old AC models? So we'll be able to sell what currently we have in stock. Alberta currently hasn't come up with an exact sort of protocol for what we're actually allowed to do right now. But um, what we know today is that uh, we should be able to sell those old, older units with the current refrigerant that's in there for at least uh, one year, as long as you're able to have them in stock and, and get them, of course. But uh, as we transition to that uh, new refrigerant, uh, the price of that old refrigerant will now start to go up as they sort of reduce capacity of uh, making that old refrigerant as well. Yeah. All right. Well, let's bring this down to uh, the person who's sitting there, you know, sweating it out, wishing they could cool off their room or their house to get a better sleep. What advice do you have for people who want to get into an air conditioning unit this summer? Well, I think I kind of relate it to the, you know, winter tires. A lot of people, uh, you know, they think uh, they wait, uh, they wait and wait and wait, and then they call when it's really hot. So I wouldn't wait, you know, put your phone call in, get your, uh, get yourself booked for that quote. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we should be able to help you uh, this summer. Um, and, and again, if you're considering air conditioning for the future, don't put it off, get that installation done in the fall, which is going to help you next summer and for years and years to come as well. So don't put that decision off, just make that decision. And we all want to sleep better. And, and, uh, with the smoke outside as well, indoor air quality is such a huge thing also. So you can keep those windows closed and you can have special uh, filtration as well that can help with the smoke also. So Yeah. Yeah. Boy, the heat and the smoke sure, uh, you know, drive home the point you're making right now, Jeff. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate speaking with you. Absolutely. All the best. Okay. You too. Take care.